As a product design engineer, I always wanted to build robots, but it was very difficult to find parts in the market or even the knowledge to build them. At the end, you end up quite frustrated with the result. So putting together all my knowledge and with a 3D printer, I created this little robot called Otto. Initially a funny uh, dancing robot that anybody could replicate at their homes, at their own printers. It was open source, shared with the world, Everybody was happy building their own robots, but slowly children got the attention on it. You know, like it started to be used even in some schools, but with the struggle of finding still the parts was not that easy, even though it was much easier than it took me. <laughs> but that's when I saw the need to create a new generation. My name is Camilo. I am the EdTech developer at Moravia. Together with the new team, we created this new generation of Otto. And as you can see, we have a big brand on it, HP. With HP, we managed to partner and collaborate to bring this new robot to the market. It complies with all the quality aspects of an HP branded product. Here in the Czech Republic, we even 3D print all the parts in our own farm. We made it in together not only to create this very first robot, but to create a whole line of, of new generation, the HP robots line. Right now, it's even the first educational robot created by HP and together with their vision of making education and technology accessible in the world, we are making robotics accessible to everybody. <laughs> Otto, we run it on three principles, create, connect, code, creativity, mechanics, electronics and programming. The way it works is that creativity is encouraged with the use of 3D printing. You can 3D print your own robot first and then complement it with the kit to build it in any color you want. Our first auto starter kit includes everything you need to get started. In the form of the builder kit, you have all the 3D printed parts included, as you can see here, that we make in our own farm here in the Czech Republic. Produced with the high quali highest quality materials we have outsourced in Europe, we produce all these parts. Here you can see all the electronics that comes in the creator kit. In case you have a 3D printer, you can opt for a cheaper version that has all the electronics and you just have to 3D print the parts from our website for free. And you can put together with these electronics. We have a, an advanced PCV custom made for this robot that has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi incorporated and it's much more advanced than the previous DIY version. We include the battery, which is very important and always lacking in DIY projects. Uh, two line following sensors so that you can practice in tournaments and different uh, competitions. A very nice RGB LED ring that you can make different effects, animations and colors. The ultrasonic is our classic distance measurement device that we use for avoiding obstacles, but now we include more RGB lights inside it. And a screwdriver, which is our main and only tool for building this robot. In our starter kit, we include this imprinted manual that walks you to every step how to put together this kit. Little by little, children put together with the help of the screwdriver all the parts that make this robot work. Once you finish building, you also have extra content already for learning how the coding works. The use of the platform, the blocks, how to interact with the robot, how to connect it through the USB-Z and how to send new programs to Otto. And at the end, we have a little introduction for the 3D printing, basic settings to set up your machine to make the robot and to make the parts like we provide. But we, all, we don't not only stay on the simple manual, because it's a, now it's an educational product. We have worked on a complete educational zone that you can find on our website where you will see lessons and a whole curriculum attached with learning objectives or of STEM education. Simple concept of robotics, simple concept of programming from the very beginning to more advanced stuff with Arduino and C language. You can walk through the different chapters. We have 
not only for the students, but we have for the teachers a guide of how to educate their students. So that in case that some of the teachers don't have experience with robot, we get them to jump into this world of robotics. You have a step by steps how to program your first blocks, examples also in the platforms that you can just simply give a kickstart for your students and then they will take from there. We have different topics already just in the starter kit. We have 18 lessons included completely free that you can already browse and download with the worksheets and student materials. So with the help of the manual, you put together this 3D printable programmable and modular robot. The coding part, you have multiple levels. You can start from very basic icons that just put together as a puzzle blocks or you can then eventually move into the word blocks that allows children to go into a more advanced uh, functions with the, and basic concepts of programming like conditionals and uh, loops. You have also the option to preview the code so like you can start to learn already in MicroPython and other languages at the same time. And it all comes back to the creativity part because then Thanks to the modularity and 3D printing, you can transform it into different creatures. You can change the wheels for legs to walk and dance. You can make compatible with other building systems. Or you can even change the tops into different uh, outputs and sensors. You have humidity and temperature. You have light, sound, sense or position sense. You have interactions with buttons, encoders, accelerometers and potentiometers. Or you can change the face to have different emotions or, or show different information on it. You also can make the robot talk and we will be adding more, more than that as we will see is used in the schools. As I mentioned before, you have multiple levels of programming. You can start with the very easy and simple icons mode, which is recommended for beginners. You just have, it's like a Scratch Junior, you just have blocks in horizontal array. You can just put together like a puzzle. Here I'm changing the colors of the lights. I have the robot connected through via USB, but I can also use Bluetooth if I want. And I just run the code very quickly and see the results immediately. Later on, our students can move into word blocks. Word blocks is like the traditional Scratch similar and familiar colors that they have been using before to do the same functions but now we have more functionalities i can add effects to the lights i can add different sounds different tones i can connect here again quickly via usb and run the code immediately the good thing about word blocks is that we can see the code that is generated in python parallel as you can see here in the screen. So the students are, really, are learning a real coding language, like professionals. You also have examples that already are connected with the lessons. So you have this series of getting started guides that for beginners of any type of programming can go through with very simple examples of how to program. You can quickly open them and run them in the code. You also have the possibility to save your own projects, open them. We have it in multiple languages, in the case of the word blocks. And you have different settings for updates, for using Bluetooth, for checking the files and so on. Here you can also access the other modes. So we can go into simulate mode. Simulate mode is perfect for just testing the electronics without having the, the robot. You can test your codes as simple as before, just dragging and dropping and running the code. You can see the preview on the right. We also have a web remote control that I can connect the robot via Bluetooth and control instantly with these widgets. These widgets can be rearranged. I can delete, I can add new ones because it's also modular. For our children to really become future inventors, it's not only about the programming. It's not only about putting together a robot. It's about the creativity. And we are giving them the tools to really become 
inventors of new robots, not just using technology, not, not just browsing to a phone, but to really understand how they work inside. That's why it's so important to create, connect, and code. For more information, visit us at hprobots.com. See you in the community. Bye.